Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have some interesting news that has to do with Blender 2.83 release date being postponed. Now, this was officially made announced on 11th of May 2020 during the developers meeting and this has to do with a couple of things and features, bugs and updates that needs to be done to this tool before it gets released to the public. Now, if you take a look at the process page, you would still notice that this tool was supposed to work around the Blender cycle that they have actually kept to for a very long time. And when you go over to the developers blog, you will still notice that the prepare release date, which was originally the release date was May the 27th. So they've actually gone ahead to update this. Now the final release date is going to be June the 3rd, 2020. Now there is some things that I would definitely want to share with you guys that has to do with these things and if we go over to the announcements you see that all of the queries and all the models are being updated which also includes sub tags and now there is a huge sprint for bug fixing that will be happening within this week and also next week now the time period between the previous release date and the new release date is actually one week and my fingers are crossed to see if these guys would you know get up to speed with this one now when you take a look at the discussion that has to do with blender 2.83 you would notice that they actually started out by talking about some fixes and some unclassified you know reports one of the main things that is making this release get a pushback is you know the bug fixes and also the deprecation of certain tools and certain functions that was previously existing in blender so if we simply go over to the new blog that they created just to you know uh throw some lights towards this you would see that there is a tracker curfew wrap up now this tracker curfew wrap up has to do with wrapping up a couple of things that has to do with stability and also the entire development of blender 2.83 right now they said that after the release of 2.80 that there was a huge set of you know bug fixes and issues that a lot of people brought to the attention of developers they've tried as much as possible to cut this down and also address some of these bugs and issues that have been made open now there is a graph that actually shows you the accumulation of things over time and at the same time there is also a very cool backlog that you can you know take a look at and see how much that they've been dealing with these issues and how much of these issues are now being dealt with there is some very you know known issue and a known issue in this case is a confirmed report but then these known issues actually come in handy as they are a way to actually document certain shortcomings that the tool has and that users get to experience now the trend so far over the fact that there are new cases and also closed cases has actually declined over time and the fact that the developers are working constantly to cut down on bugs cut down on the issues cut down on the reports that a lot of persons are sending and also you know try and fix some unknown and also known issues is one of the main reasons that the deadline has now been you know pushed forward now this is not just going to affect blender 2.83 as this is effectively going to also affect blender 2.9 now blender 2.9 might not be released at the point where we think it's going to come which means that this would be pushed forward two weeks into the future and for sure to reduce the impact of development cycle of blender 2.9 this is the main reason why they're doing this so that once this tool comes out the amount of bugs that we'll get to see wouldn't be as much now if we go back to the meeting we would also notice that the beacon 4 which is the blender conference number four will be starting out on the 27th of may which is exactly the same time which we were supposed to get blender 2.83 release there's also some conversations that has to do with 2.9 which has to do with reminding the developers about the 10 big 2020 projects that blender foundation has actually embarked on and just in case you have no idea what that is the 10 big 2020 projects actually includes the library override which is something that has actually started being implemented the multi res which we've actually taken a look at and it's pretty cool to see that that feature is now available in blender 2.9 there is also the particle nodes which we are still expecting some very cool stuff from there is the volume you know object type which we've seen we've actually played around it on the channel link is going to be in the description for you to see that there is the hair object type as well which 
which we've also talked about faster animation playback is presently being implemented in blender 2.9 and of course there is the scene editing in object mode there's also the fast high mesh editing alembic and usd is presently in blender 2.83 and in case you want to start playing with that you can proceed to start getting those ones happening of course we're still expecting some very cool integrations like the importer asset manager basics is also something that everyone seems to be expecting and there are other projects of course that would be coming and some projects that are still on the wraps and i'm going to put links in the description where you can check it out so the particle nodes was also talked about the collision system and at the same time during the conversation about blender 2.9 pablo actually went ahead to ask about you know the status and patch review for the sculpting and painting model and this of course sparked a couple of conversations now we've covered and talked about some sculpting updates coming over to blender 2.8 but then I think there are still a huge set of them that might not make it to Blender 2.83 as these will be making their way to Blender 2.9. And one of the very ones that you can see that has been here is the pose brush. So the pose brush is here, the, you know, the elastic, the form is also something that's here. We've already talked about the slide and relax topology, which is a pretty cool brush. The multi-plane scrape is also something that is available. We've also seen, you know, the clay tom, we've seen the mask. We've also seen the redesigned clay brush. We've seen the dynamic mesh preview. We've also seen the mask by Coverture. And then for the future, it seems like the Scops Vetus color will be making its first debut in Blender 2.9. And then Snapshot, which is more like recall history that exists in ZBrush, is now going to be something that might make its way to Blender 2.9. And you know, I cannot wait to see the mesh texture filter, which will be coming over to Blender very soon, as this is a very cool feature that will complement the multi-res. There's also the voxel remesh, you know, detail control, which we've talked about in the channel. Then there is the cloak brush. Now, for the most part, there is a huge set of things that has been updated within the sculpting tool. But I think some of them are still on the works as if you take a look at this, you would see that the face set is presently in Blender 2.83 and you know, there is definitely going to be a consistent walk over for this one. This which has to do with the scope that this color has been consistently in development and I guess there's still a whole lot of other things that would be coming. Now, we've also taken a look at, you know, the layer brush and the update for the layer brush, which is incredible. And I like the idea that they had to go in there and redo the entire thing. But despite that, the key mesh is also something that I just want to see you know in blender of course there has been some tease about these we talked about it in the channel but i really wish that there's some stuff that you know has to do with the key mesh that might make it to blender 2.9 so away from all of the deliberations let's talk about the new features and changes that is now available in blender 2.9 so we already talked about some very interesting stuff that has to do with multi-res that was implemented in blender 2.9 and we covered a bit of an extensive video about that one so you can check that out but today we're seeing some very cool stuff that has to do with the ui annotation and also the grease pencil so i'm just going to go through and just you know shed light on a couple of these things so that you guys can see what it is and with that i'm going to dive directly into blender 2.9 and also fire up blender 2.83 so that we can take a look at this so with blender 2.83 open if i press f3 on my keyboard to search i can simply search now you cannot do things like adding quick favorites or you know uh, assigning shortcuts you cannot do that but if we go over to blender 2.9 that feature now exists so you can simply fire up the search bar and you can search for anything that you want for our case you can simply search for a cube and once you get the cube you can right click on that cube and you can proceed to add that to your favorite quick list now if you choose to add that you can also you know fire this thing up one more time and because q is the shortcut key for your favorite or your quick you know favorite you can simply press q and you can get that one going you can add as much stuff as you want for another example we can choose to add you know suzanne the monkey to our quick favorite list and we can get that one going so at any point in time which we just fire this thing up and press q on the keyboard this is going to be very accessible another beautiful thing that you can now do which you cannot do in previous versions of blender that is coming to 2.9 is you can now assign shortcuts yeah so shortcuts 
are very interesting to see now instead of going over to the edit preference you know go over to the key mapping shortcuts nope you can now simply assign shortcuts directly here using the search so for this now if you go ahead and right click you can choose to select you know uh, add a shortcut and you can hold on the relevant keys that you want and once that is done you can simply go ahead and assign those keys as a shortcut for our case i'm just going to go ahead and find susan the monkey hold down ctrl alt and s and with that done once i you know clear this out delete the cube hold down ctrl alt and s and the first thing that appears is susan the monkey this is definitely a great way to remap your keys especially if you want to work pretty fast using blender you can get this one up and running now the next thing which has been updated is the annotation line and this itself makes a lot of sense so if you are using annotations to actually point directions or maybe you just want to you know show persons or show a set of people where things are maybe you're trying to mark certain points now you have a start and an end option which you can now use to create arrow heads and also other you know very cool stuff this feature does not exist in previous versions of blender as you can see in blender 2.83 a feature like that doesn't exist this annotation is more like an improvement and i'm very excited about this one there's also updates to the curves as they can now be as smooth as you know what you can get using grease pencil there's, an, there's also an update to the grease pencil and these are certain things that we are definitely going to cover in subsequent videos so blender 2.83 is definitely delayed you know the time for release is definitely delayed and we've gone through to talk about certain things that's making this delay and we've also talked about a lot of things that they actually did talk about within the time they had this meeting and still speaking of which the goggle summer of course has begun so in case you want to follow that up as well i'm going to put a link in the description where you can check that out if you also want to have more ideas about stuff that has to do with blender if you want to get links to the track coffee wrap up you know the asset manager updates you want to get links to so many of these things that we also talked about in this particular video i'm going to put links in the description so you can go through and check those things out and that's definitely going to be about it guys i would like to know what you guys think about all of this beautiful stuff in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you like something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this Peace.